In a world with many similarities to our own, there lies two planets that are both experiencing societal turmoil. One of them, the planet Remus, there lies a town named Hazel that is on the outskirts of one of the busiest cities on the planet. While society is strained with cultural change, in this town, there are beings that no one has seen struggle not to be found as time goes on. The following is the story of some of the people who end up finding them through no fault of their own. This is Hazeltown Story. Hi! It's been a while. Um, just because of various things that just happened that sometimes you gotta take a break sometimes and that's a-okay because we're back and we're here with an incredibly something different than we normally do uh and this is mostly out of two things one uh me <laughs> this kind of thing did did it turn from a thing that was hey why don't we do this so I can get more time to work on some backend stuff, which, by the way, I absolutely have not worked on yet, so it's all good. Uh, and Doctor. two, this was kind of a joke that I felt like at some point I felt honored to have to, to obligate, but also I'm curious about this. So this has nothing really to do with Hazeltown's story in, at all. This is us poking at a game that circulated amongst the internet for a bit. Who is the... So, what... Who made this? Hi, I'm Carnival, and this... The game we'll be playing today is Goblin with a Fat Ass, released by Tom Bloom, also known as Abaddon, also known as At Orbital Dropkick, the one half of the Lancer team, and writer and artist of Kill Six Billion Demons, writer and artist of what he recently released, the Kane RPG, uh, working on the Icon RPG, and also the Necro. I don't, I don't remember the name of his war game that he released as well. All right. Yeah, I like. I knew he worked on some. I couldn't remember if he was like the Beam Saber guy or if it was Lancer. Okay. It was Lancer. And it was Lancer. You can tell because it is his art style all over it. Which is funny. Um, also. It's also remaining worth two noting that when he posted this to Twitter, he said, hello, Twitter, I have a brand new RPG for you. Please enjoy. Followed by, I was bullied into doing this. I will take no further questions. <laughs> yes. Uh, also, the remaining two, could you introduce yourselves? I am, of course, Deathmaster780, and I haven't said anything so far. And I guess I'm Torpo. Torpid yes. typist, excuse me. Yes. Um, so this is a game that is meant to be exceptionally simple. Uh, it's literally two pages. It, like, it is a one session game. It is a one off game. Yeah, this is this entire this is done with. Uh, it's just D6s. You just need D6s. So granted, our normal system just uses D6s. But like, OK, um, so. How we're going to do this is I so playing the game, I'm just kind of reading this because I have I going in with this completely blind because I feel like that's how you're supposed to play this game. Like, I feel like if you pla if you plan anything with this, I feel like you're playing it wrong. Um, So playing the game, you need two to four players and a disaster master uh, who could also be a player just for sake of simplicity. I'm going to just stick to Disaster Master. Um, and basically, the DM uh, just basically does DM stuff. Uh, uh, also, place. you should read the line at the top of the page. Uh, okay, you are a group... Let's see. Uh, you are a group... Uh, hold on. So, but this, the things are on a higher monitor, so I gotta, like... You are a group up. of ne'er-do-wells with one goal, to rob the richest person in town blind. Unfortunately for you, you are each a goblin with a fat ass. Yes. Uh, so how we're going to do this is I'm going to, we're well, I'm going to quick roll what we're doing because there are, uh, let's see, is it five different scenario rolls? They each roll uh, 1d6 and we get what we're doing. So let me roll that real quick. Let's see. Generic roll. 
Also, we're doing this testing Discord's new Roll20 stuff, so that's fun. Maybe you are. Let's see, number die. Okay. So, uh, roll number one is a five. So the rich person in question is an exotic mystical animal menagerie owner. Uh, let's see, the second roll is the location. Uh, so we, it is a gala at a uh, gala of the decade at the mayor's mansion. Uh, number, f let's see, five again. Uh, we are, what are we robbing? We are robbing the hand of King Midas, which still works. Uh, the, let's see, next roll is a six. Protected by a cadre of numerous but poorly played guards and uh, bound goblin destroying shadow demons. It's in the contract. And the last one is a three which means it is locked in an enormous quantum vault connected to a series of portals. What you're telling me is that we're, we're robbing a Kennedy. No. No. We're robbing someone who... We're robbing... Let's see, what was it? The exotic mythical animal menagerie owner. We're robbing the Tiger King. Okay, but yeah. does it have a hawk that kills cops? Uh, Yes. Damn. Um, anyway, uh, so each of you need to roll for your goblin. So True. let's see. Let me just get the thing. Okay. Uh, so in that case, uh, we've rolled two d sixes, a d eight, and another d six. Oh, great. Uh, do we have a thing in here? Can, is there just a roll one d eight? Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's what you do. Yeah. Let me just type slash roll and then just write out all the dice that we need to roll. Oh, okay. Perfect. Like that. Okay, so in that case, um, yeah, each of you, why don't each of you roll your 2d6s and 1d8? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, 23. Here. Roll like a human being. Okay, so since Torpo has all his die, let's see. Torpo, so do your ass stat first, which is that last 1d6. Um, so you got a four, which means your ass okay. by default. Okay. Nope. So the thing about the ass stat is you can go up one or down dot, like up, down, up or down one die. Excuse me. Fucking words yeah. are hard from what you roll. So I'm going to so, be going up one. Instead of being the green dump truck, I will be the juggernaut. You, yes, you have a, fi a class five ass in the juggernaut. Um, let's see. The first one d six was also f you rolled a lot of fours. Four, four, three, four. So you, let's see. You, I you got your ass for that ass. Yeah, you worked hard for it. Uh, and also your one d eight is a let's barbarian. See, you, yeah, you rolled a three, so you rolled a barbarian, which acts into the. The, how you probably got your ass, and then the other 1d6 your pocket, is you have a telescope that was stolen, strong acid, four glass files, unexploded, and one in unexploded artillery shell. Yeah, that's pretty standard berserker barbarian shit. Okay, so let's see. Uh, other carnival next. Let's see, your... So carnival rolled a six for ass scores, so you go up one or down. We're going up one. <laughs> Okay, so you have, oh no, level ass. You have the biggest ass you can possibly get. Uh, you also rolled a four, so you worked hard for that ass. Uh, you rolled a six for your, or let's see, you rolled an eight for your 1d8, so you are a paladin. Skills, knowledge, uh, armor care, baking, ability may also choose to count own ass size as one when rolling. So you have one or, ma one or max, so that's great. Uh, and then your pocket possessions, you rolled a six, which means you have three different pairs of shoes, a uh, pair of sunglasses, overcoat, loose sandwich, and matches. Wait, really quick. Carnival, I thought, rolled four for ass size. So yeah, I'm taking four, so the, Oh, I, I misread this. Yeah, it's oh. four, six, eight, six. Yeah, because I thought that it, it, yeah, I forgot that the order that he's going. Um, so yeah, you do. So you you're going up one. So you also have the juggernaut. Uh, your class, your thing of six is. So you just have a big natural ass, uh, and then you're still you're still a uh, a paladin, and your your 
pocket stuff still the same. Uh, DM, let's see, is that everything? I think you need two more D6s? Yes, I'm doing them one at a time. Okay, so I'll start off here one D6. Uh, your ass size, you've got a four, so you can go Why up or down. Why did everyone roll four for ass size? What the fuck? Um, yes, we're the juggernaut bitches. Okay, so I think you're going up one. Uh, yes. Your uh, class, since you rolled the 1d8, uh, was... That was uh, a d6. Is... Well, I was looking up. Oh, that was your testing. Okay. Yeah, that is blessed by an enthusiastic nymph. Yes. With the skills, skills nature, nature, alchemy, alchemy and, skinny and skinny dipping. Skinny dipping. Okay, 1d8. You got a 2, which means you're a thief. Skills lockpick and mm. sneaking and pulling a fast one. Uh, ability, roll ass to instantly steal any loose object not held or uh, worn at hand's reach. Doesn't work on other thieves. Um, 1d6. Uh, 5, which means you got an oddly shaped key, a bottle of oil that's flammable, and a jar of ball bearings. Okay. So, um, anyway. Okay, so how do I do this? I lost my mouse cursor. I'm going to need to make a series of screenshots real quick, just so I can get all this in my mind. Oh, that's why I'm using a, like, just open up Notepad++ and just writing this down quickly. Okay, so, all right. We're going to do this a little less, or fast and loose. Uh, so, so, go ahead. Do you want to explain what the ass stat is and how it works? Sure, so I can remember how it is. So, uh... How the ass stat works. Uh, if you're doing something risky, which should be most things, or that would, it's something that would cause mayhem, mischief, or general chaos, you may roll ass. Uh, to roll ass, roll 1d6 per goblin ass size. Um, 2d6 for lowest or for those of zero ass. Um, so everyone's rolling 5d6. Uh, if you get at least one six, there is a, a surprising upside, opportunity, or advantage. Multiple six means the extra good. This applies even if you fail. If you roll at least or er, roll at least one one one, there's also a downside, meaning or er, extra risk, complication, or injury. Multiple ones or er, means it's extra bad. Uh, these may or may not be ass related. Ones and sixes cancel each other out. Um, each time the player rolls at least one one in any final result or ass roll. Fill one segment of the chaos clock. This tracks generally how things are going. If the clock hits midnight and you run out of segments, shit hits the fan. You may have to cut and run or try to make a mad dash last bid for the prize. No exceptions. Um, which actually, what is this? This is a, it's a 12, so actually we, uh, I can actually make a joke. Oh, hold on a second. Uh-oh. Hold on. This is being a little funky. There it is. There we go. Okay, so uh, in that case, I guess then uh, ready to start. So, um, let's see. Um, so we started at. Let's see. This is we are out. You are outside the gala. Um, you three goblins are there to steal uh, the hand of Midas. Uh, uh, the gala is being held. Uh, I'm getting my um. So the mayor of this town that you're in is a bit of bit into the occult and eccentric. He is notable for having a mansion that has uh many different odd things in it. Um, different many different magical uh, accoutrements inside. Uh, it is well known for being a house that does not make sense. Uh, but you know that there is a party that is being held here, and, and he's trying to showcase his hand of Midas that he has that still actually works, and he, you want it. So how how you getting it? So what, oh. are they like throwing random things at the at the and turning it to gold? Uh, that probably sounds about right. Before we do anything, what's everyone's names and their characters' pronouns? Uh, good question. I'll just go with Jim, she, they. Okay. I'm Griselda. Grizzly for short, she, her. Okay. Ratchet Thunder Cheeks, thank you. Here at your service. 
Okay. Does each of you type in that in one of the chats? Just so I remember that. I'll I'll type it in here. Okay. All right. So who 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 who's got a plan? I mean, my plan was just going in the front door. You know, not the finest, but it is a gala. Yeah, they don't seem to have any guards. Why not? Go cool. why not? Okay, so you all go in the front door, and as you go into the front door, uh, you notice something like it it's actually weirdly dark in there. Like it's actually pitch black in there. Uh does anyone have like night vision or like any sort of or like I don't think there's any sort of natural thing. So uh, you go in and you don't like it's dark. What kind of shit gala is this? Terrible. I come here uh, dressed to the nines looking for food. You know how hard it was to squeeze my feet fat ass with these leather pants. See, that's why I stuck with the dress. Can't show off this one. Also stuck to put on. Clearly wearing the wrong fucking dresses. Oh, you just use chaps instead. It sidesteps the entire problem. I don't think it does. Also, who the hell wears chaps to a gala? I do. The fuck is wrong with you? So, dude, does you also notice that there's no one really see, else seems to be in this room, or you at least don't hear anyone. So, what does someone feel like they want to do? I have used magic device. So, is there any like sort of thing in there that I can try that way? Uh, you do kind of bumble around. You do see on a table, or like, there is a table nearby that has some sort of lantern on it that looks to be a magical lantern. Sure. So you're able to use that, and you light up, and you notice that in this room, there just seems to be a series of doors. Like, we're saying, like, let's say nine doors three on like well ten doors including the entrance but nine doors three on each side of this like square room seriously what the fuck kind of gala is this yes where to guess i don't actually yeah it's a show-off gala oh oh is it gonna be like one of those sex parties probably look i i don't i don't know rich people if it is friend then you can probably imagine what our targets use and his special animals for. Look, I, I don't do much outside of work out, eat, and definitely procure things legally, like the stress. That dress that doesn't show off your fat ass. It is, it is the slinkiest dress imaginable. A stiff breeze will just give you cheek. If you say so. And Grizzly's going to go try each of the doors. All right. Um, You're just going to go straight through one of the doors? Yep. Okay, uh, in that case, um, why don't you roll? What? Uh, you, you roll, you roll ass. Okay. Or, I, 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 I think that's how it works. Yeah, it's the only stat you roll. Your, your okay. skills are there as things to use, but anytime you do anything, you basically roll ass. Yeah, so you get extra die based on, or extra or less die, which... Um, in this case, all of us are going to be rolling five d sixes. Yep. Okay. Oh no. So, okay. Was, let me just check to make sure. Well, the chaos clock ticks up one. Well, there's that, but also, let's see. Don't, however, is contested outcomes in fear roll one. Oh. Yeah. If it's, I think if it's like a particularly risky action, that's when you roll ass. If it's just normal, like a you don't know what you would. Okay. Start. So this is. Okay. Yeah, no. It is it is purely role play until you do something risky. Okay. So in this case because it the rule was 2 or 23315 three, uh there is a slight negative or there is a negative or a downside rather. I take it to, does it just resolve based on ones and sixes or so it is it is everything goes normal. If you don't roll any ones or sixes, there's a surprise upside. If there is a six surprise downside, if there is a one, ones and sixes cancel each other out. 
Okay, I didn't know if there was some sort of like. No, it is a system of extremes, and if you roll even one one with no six to cancel it out, the chaos clock ticks up one. Okay, so then let's roll that up. So in this case, was there anything specific about the door that made it risky? Uh, well, the thing is about it that you you rush through the door, uh, and you find yourself in a. Uh, you find yourself in a room that is... They, you actually managed to pick the room that has the most people in it. You you managed to get into uh, the parlor that has a magical piano and, like, the, uh, there's also a billiards table that works on magic somehow. And oh, there are a bunch like of people in here. It's chat room. Yes, you all said the weird beer pong thing as well. <laughs> um... And you go in and uh, you you are now just in a room that just has a whole bunch of people in it. Is there finger food? Uh, there is, in fact, finger food. I am going to destroy that spread. OK, you 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 go for the chips. You absolutely double dip. Um, Fuck yes, I do. Look, yeah, there's you a need you need proper carbs in protein to keep this ass as pristine as it is. So, right, Lola, you said that beef, beef ability okay. to snatch up a bunch of the snacks. Okay. Uh, Jim? said that there was a magic bill- billiards table? Yes. Alright, we're gonna use magic device and try and create a big distraction. Wait, also, also one sec, didn't you roll a D8 or 8 for your your class? Yes, but I also got for the, for the ass. I get oh. to pick two skills from it anywhere to grab. I oh, a okay. I didn't see that. Yeah, the big natural means I just pick two skills. So. Oh, okay. So yeah, use magic device. We're gonna take this billiards table and make it start become a giant distraction forever. Put on a are, real big show. Are Are you just gonna like? Use your ass cheeks to play billiards? I thought it was just going to play itself. I mean... Oh, you're going to hip check the table to to reconfigure it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. (laughs) Okay. Um, Just for funsies, why don't you roll ass for that? Okay. I mean, it is risky. You're trying to reconfigure the table in front of everyone. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Oh, that's a one. Holy fuck! Okay. Uh, let's see. Does that does it roll? Do I add the chaos clock for each one? No. Okay, so it's it's going up by one. No. For what sure. matters is that there is a one or a six in the final result. Yes, they, they are not additive. This okay. that said, are multiple, multiple downsides. Ones. Yeah, multiple ones or multiple sixes means it is either really bad or really good. Okay. So in that case, what happens is that um, like compounding severity. All the, all like, like you hip check the thing trying to get to activate. All the balls on the table start just levitating and circling around, and they, uh, they fly in. Two of them fly in certain directions. One, the mayor happens to be in the room. One of them flies in directly in his way, hits him directly in the dick, uh, which gets everyone's attention. To then, to the other ball that happens to go and hit each of you in the forehead. Okay, okay. no, 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 no. I want to roll ass. I want to roll ass to see if I can deflect the billiard ball. okay. Don't so I, I am a master of athletics and calisthenics. D6, five, not four. Uh, so two, one, four, three, two. One of the you balls. Succeed, though. Yeah. You succeed. You deflect one of them. Another one hits you in the throat and destroys your pride. <laughs> but also everyone is looking at you. Three. I mean, yes, I, the, my ass is incredible. Thank you. Also, just, absolutely just cheek in the breeze because the dress moved wrong. Grizzly just looks at the crowd and says, hey, hey, I got a fat ass. 
that that's fine and dandy. Everyone wants you dead now. I just want to mention that my ass is incredible. My face is still full of hors d'oeuvres. I I it should be. Okay, I'm trying to figure what's our next step here. We Whatever. Have... I'm gonna empty my jar of ball bearings. Everyone trips up trying to get us. Okay, that sounds about right. How close are we to the actual display of the Midas hand? You have you are in a room, so there is only that one entrance. You have zero clue. Okay, where it is. I look forward to finding the weird, exotic, mystical animals. Is there any obvious doors that are away from, that are in, further into the house but away from the crowd? Uh, there is, uh, there is uh two doors in the room, one that you came in, one that you did not. Well, I guess we better be heading that the other way. That then. Man, that that chaos clock is already taken up like a son of a bitch. That's fine. Everyone's fine on their ass. Here, everything is fine. Yeah, everything is fine. Okay, so yeah. which which door do you want to go try go through? Next one. Yeah, the okay. one that we didn't come in through. So, someone roll ass. I am gonna barrel ass first through that door, and nobody can stop me. You're the athletic I... one, so sure. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna hip check the shit out of that door. Uh, six, one, two, four, three. Okay, so it, I mean, it just cancels each other. It out. succeeds. It, it's it's a normal roll. Yep. So you go all barrel through the door, and you find yourselves in, um, you find yourselves in a study where, uh, there, there is a desk that there, there is no one in the room. There is a lit fireplace. There is a um, it just looks like a study. It is. There are very tall bookshelves with many books, and on top of the bookshelves are many different statues of animals, All right. particularly birds. Oh wait, so these these are statues, not taxidermy figures. They're taxidermy. Also, I I just want to clarify. Uh, I know I need to find a better picture, but yeah, no. It, so it's all taxidermy, huh? Yeah. I, uh, I'm gonna go touch one of the birds. Roll ass. What? Oh, oh God. Fuck. Let's see. One, five, four. One, five, five. One, one, five, five, four, four. Uh, chaos clock. Six, one. Uh, as you touch it, you, ta- you touch one that looks a lot like a to parrot. And as you touch the parrot, a shadow appears from it and just starts squawking the living shit out of itself. Like, it just starts making a shit ton of noise. All right, I'm going to use nature to calm it down. What was that? I'm going to use nature to calm it down. My nature skill. Rhythmically clap my ass in the way that will calm this bird down. All right. <laughs> we got... Four six one six six. So good things are happening. Actually, it's going great. As we call them, the shadow parent down with my rhythmic clapping. We got two that double cleared it. So what's our good thing? Also, I posted something in the uh, the voice chat. Oh, yep, yeah, that tracks. As I said, just one wrong move and it is ass out. Okay. Okay. Sorry, right, that was weird. Uh. So. Uh. Back to what you were saying. I used my rhythmic ass slapping and my knowledge of nature to calm down the bird. Oh, okay. But also, I was mentioning that I, I posted in the uh, voice chat room what I, the dress I'm wearing looks like. Oh, I see. Yes. Though, with, it, with more sequins, because I'm a fucking goblin, I need shiny shit. Yeah, also, for those who are wondering, my, my mixer's firmware just completely just shat the bed. Like you do. Yeah. Okay. So, um, with that... Also, yeah, that means shit goes really fucking great, because that's two sixes. Oh, yes, I see. Um, so, yeah, you you managed to, like, through your thing of nature, even though it is shadow creep, Jesus. That's, okay, yes, I see the outfit that Jem is wearing, which is, that's, um, that's a, a, a pair of chaps that... Is tied to a is that bustier? I think that's what that's called. 
that is certainly an outfit. Um, so yes, you managed to, like, even though it is a shadow creature, you have managed to, uh, quiet the bird. Uh, so what do you plan on doing now? I, uh, should just look the, the room over a bit more. Anything like a secret passageway that we can, like, tell from the bookshelves or something like that? Um, no, uh, no, but you, nothing is immediately apparent, but you can try rolling ass to find something. Sure, I got use magic device. Let's go. What, what is your other skill? Climbing. <laughs> oh, you know what? You're a goblin, so climbing up on the bookshelves might actually help, too. True. So you get 76. Uh, five, six, three, two, one, six, four. Uh, so you managed to, uh, uh, find in between two of the books, you managed to find a, uh, map kind of of how these things link together. Um, but you don't like, you find how they manage to get together, but, uh, it doesn't say anything about where the Hanamitis is. Hey, that's at least a start. Hey, tall ass motherfucker, what do you see up there? All right, I got us a map, of, at least of the of the house. If we and then Jim pulls like a bookshelf, the old pulls a book from the bookshelf. This should at least take us deeper in the house. Okay, Is that so good. Maybe. Okay, so um, you managed yeah. to do that. You're going. What was that? that makes you sure. I toss Grizz the map. Oh, that's fine. All right, where, where are we on the map? Uh, you are in a in the study. And all the rooms are marked. Uh, yes. All right, is one of them the treasure room? Uh, so you don't see like a treasure room. You, it looks like all the house rooms in this house are connected via like special doors. None of them like seem to be a room. Like there is some basements, but like nothing that says, "Hey, here's where." stuff is, like, showcased. What well, rooms are there, then? Well, uh, you got a... Let's see, you got a... I'm gonna post uh, this about rolling rules. What was that? Sorry, I was just posting the rolling rules in the chat just to be extra sure of how things move forward. Oh, okay. Let's see, you got a ballroom, a kitchen, a dining room, a lounge, a hall... A study, a library, a billiard room, and a conservatory. Also, some, uh, also a, a basement, and also a garage. I have it. The conservatory. Sorry. That's where this special animal freak will, will keep his treasure. All right. We'll follow you. All right. This time we'll do some sneaking. Okay. I'll do Roll ass. You two on your own. Yeah, I was gonna go check out the observatory. Whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off on my own. Fuck all y'all. Wait. I don't think is there, that there isn't a observatory. There's only wait, a conservatory. Wait. Conservatory. Was... What were the other rooms? In the conservatory, the billiard room, the library, the study, the hall, the lounge, the dining room, the kitchen, and the ballroom. Also, I'm gonna... st storage <laughs> and uh, or basement and garage. You know what? I'm gonna go to the ballroom. Also, by looking at the map, the room that you were in was the building. Ah, okay. Okay, that's a three, four, one, one, two, four. Uh, that is a success. It's a, I mean, it's a success, but also clapping up the ass, Just letting everyone know where we are. Yeah, that, that was about to say. As you try and sneak, your ass claps, and as you try and sneak, uh, the clapping of your ass cheeks, uh, alerts two, uh, hawks, or two shadow parrots that also try and circle you and annoy you as you're trying to sneak through. Previous episodes of Hazeltown Story can be found at BeKindRewind.Hazel.Town or Radio.Hazel.Town. If you would like to know more about the universe and have an interest in video games, you can watch Lord of the Puzzles Journal, our sister show, that can be found at theater.hazel.town or beconrewind.hazel.town. If you would like to keep up to date with Lolo, you can follow them at Coast or Blue Sky at Lolo the Puzzle. There is also a Discord server in which you can potentially catch episodes being recorded live 
at club.hazel.town. Thank you for listening to Hazeltown Story. I welcome you to come back for more. <laughs>